Torch here. Uh, I got a 2004 Toyota Camry here in the garage and I'm going to replace the front brake pads. So first thing you're going to need is a big giant C-clamp. Hook it on there just like that. Then you crank her down and what you're doing is you're pushing that piston back into the caliper. Can't really do it with one hand and hold the camera, so I'll show you what I mean in a second here. Okay, and then you just crank that down pretty much as far as it'll go. You don't want to force it real hard, but just keep turning that until it pretty much stops. Okay. And then you want to go ahead and take it off. Which I'll set the camera down again because I need two hands. Alright, now that I got that off, then you want to take off these two bolts. One down here on the bottom. I already broke them free. So, these are your guide guide slide pins whatever you want to call them guide pins or slide pins or actually no they're not <laughs> it just holds the caliper on that's okay I was wrong not used to working on Toyotas so I guess something's a little different here so we will find out Oh, I think I see. It looks like they're separate. Because I see another little piece right there that was moving. So, let's see what we got here. Yeah, I know I got a long thumbnail. I got to cut it. <laughs> Alright, and then look, that just comes right off. And lo and behold, look at that. My brake pads are fine. Huh. So I wonder if it's the back. Alright, well anyway. Then, uh. I guess I'll just lube these back up. Anyway, then you just slide these out. Looks like it comes out just like so. And pop them back in on each side. There's the new ones I bought, which I guess I might be returning. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder why I got loss of brake pedal. I mean, not much loss, it's just a little bit. So, anyway, yeah, what you would do is pop these out, and then you just slide the new ones in. On the 2004, I noticed these are all the same. So it doesn't matter, they're not marked, you know, inside, outside, or nothing like they are on some vehicles. And... Wow. Well, I'm kind of glad I can go take these back and get my $50 back, unless the other side is bad. Um, huh. That's interesting. So anyway, these are the, these are the, the slide pins. Which they feel really good. They're moving. So, heck, I think I'm just going to squirt a little grease in the holes. Make sure they're nice and lubed up and then uh, just put this back on there. Wow, well that's good news for me. It's $50 I really didn't need to spend right now. Because times are tough. 
So, all right. Well, I'm going to put this back together and go look at the other side. So I lubed those back up and then you just put these, uh, put the caliper back on. And then I'm just putting the bolts back in and tightening her up. See, when, when I looked at it before, you see how close this is right here to the inside of the rotor? That's what made me think these brakes were were out because there's a big gap on this side and a lot of times on cars they wear out on the inside faster than they do on the outside so that's why I thought but the way to really tell I should have looked in this nice little hole here you can see the meat on the pad right there from there to there there's quite a bit left these are like almost new and you can see the other one with the writing on it they're pretty thick so yeah, I would suggest checking this hole first before you go taking it all apart. Most likely, a lot of you guys will know when your brakes are bad because they're grinding or squealing or something. So, Alright, well I'm going to check the other side, but at least anybody out there with a 2004 Toyota Camry or a year close to it, you th hopefully this helps you on how to take it apart and do it. So, let me go check the other side real quick, put this back together.